Welcome back to Moe's Outdoor Adventures. It's almost squirrel season. It starts in a week. So I'm going to get my uh, 22 pistol sighted in. It's a Ruger Mark III Hunter. It's got the stainless steel fluted barrel. I just put a scope on it yesterday. So we're going to get this all sighted in for probably 25 yards. And then it'll be all ready for squirrel season with that. So uh, we're going to wander on over and find a tree to stick a target on. It's windy out today. so. We'll stick to about 20, 25 yards. We'll get this target. Right here's the target. It's about the size of a gray squirrel. Pretty close to life size. So we're going to hang that right on a tree over here. This target, you got to aim high with this gun. Quite shoot. So I'm going to switch from my staple gun and use my real gun this time. This is the Ruger. The scope is a UTG. <clears throat> a frog in my throat. The scope is a UTG pistol scope. It's a, I believe it's a 32 millimeter. It's a 2 to 7 by 32. Parallax is set for 35 yards, but up close it's not too bad. First sighted end, we're going to use these uh, 22, they're 40 grain bullets, they're just a solid. We'll get these on target. After I load those up and get sighted in, we're going to switch over to some stingers and a couple other ones and see what shoot the best. So loading the Ruger, you slide this down. You can put it all the way down and hold it. I usually just go one round at a time. It holds 10. We got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got nine here. I grab one more. Slide in the bottom. Cock, it's on safe right now. I'm going to use my bog pod shooting stick. I'm going to set up on this for now. I'm just going to do two shots. Let's turn the power up a little bit. With two shots, see where I'm hitting, if I gotta adjust my sights up or down or whatever. I'm moving all over right here, but. We'll go on the cider target on top. I'm moving all over. Can't hold this thing steady, but we'll go check the target and see what I got to do. I got two on target and two up high. So I'm going to uh, use my shooting bag and try to get a little more steady with this. Okay, so I've got my shooting bags, a little sandbag, whatever you want to call them. I'm going to set it right up here. I got a nice steady rest and I can shoot right over to the uh, target right there. Maybe. And get it to zero. There we go. See if I can get a little better zero with this. Way too high. So I'm in high right. We're going to lower it down and move it over a lot. That just shows how much I was moving off my shooting stick. I'll get this readjusted and uh, I'd say I got to move about three inches down and two inches to the left. Okay, I went too far left. I'm lined up on the bullseye elevation wise, so now we go back right. Oh, a little too far. Wait for that wind to stop blowing. Got leaves in my way.
All right, we're gonna go check this target and see if I hit the bullseye or not. I can't tell from here. So it looks like I put two or three right in the eight and 10 ring, which isn't bad. Now I'm gonna take a couple uh, Shots at this with these, and then we're going to switch out and go for a head shot using my other ammo. We got to wait for the wind, and the tree branches keep getting blocked by the wind, but this will go reload up and uh, try this again. Okay, we're going to put three shots into the heart lung area. Then I'm going to switch over. As long as I'm zeroed, I'm going to throw some CCI stingers in and see if I can hit the uh, head shot with those. So we're going to give it a couple shots right now. Looks like I hit the kill zone. That would have been a dead squirrel all day long. So now I'm going to throw in uh, three CCI stingers. These are 32 grain hollow point. And I also have some Remington Yellow Jacket HPs. These are supposed to be high velo hyper velocity, but I'm not sure what the velocity is supposed to be with them. Stingers are also a high velocity round. We're going to see which one shoots the best though. Okay, if the stingers are loaded up, we're going to give a couple shots at the head with these. Looks like all three of those went high and the group wasn't very tight. Now we'll go with a couple of these Remington Yellow Jackets. We'll see if these shoot. Man, it's a handgun. This gun tends to shoot the best with lower velocity ammo, but we're giving it a try with all of them. I can't tell where I hit with those ones. I'm gonna go check the target quick. Can you see it good? Mm -hmm. Where'd I hit? Same spot you hit with the last three. Just high? Just high. And he has to go check the target because he doesn't believe me. Okay, so both of the high velocity rounds did not group very well. And they both hit high, which I figured they would hit a little high. So now we're going to try a different ammo. I've got some Winchester 40 grain, 1300 feet per second. Just standard copper plated. I don't believe these are uh, hollow points. So i got seven rounds in here. We're going to uh, put all seven at the headshot. I got five rounds in the head. The other one's uh, scattered a little bit. I'm going to throw another target up so I got a fresh target. I'm going to shoot a few more of these ones and I'm going to shoot a few groups with the other ones and see which are the best. So we're going to do three groups. One group with these. We're going to put these on the headshot. One group with these are going to be on the body shot. And one group of 10 of these ones, and we'll put those on the uh, cider target at the top. We'll see which one group's the best, and then after that, I'm going to decide which are going to be used for hunting this year. Ten rounds at the head. We're going to run ten rounds using the uh, bulk ammo at the cider target. That's next. These are 36 grain hollow points. We're shooting them fairly quick, so it's not taking a lot of time to aim. So shooting this way is going to be the closest to a real-world hunting situation. 
you know, you don't have a lot of time to get all steady. I'll be using shooting sticks and uh, leaning on trees during hunting season, but for now, we're just doing it off the bag so I can get the best groups and then I know what ammo is best. That group actually uh, went pretty good. I didn't expect that group to be as tight as it is, but uh, now we're going to give 10 rounds with the Winchester 40 grain. All right, there's my three groups. We will see which one is the tightest, and uh, based on that, we'll know what one I'm going to use for hunting season this year. That's a toss-up between the 40 grain Aguila, Aguila, Aquila. I'm not sure how you pronounce them, but those are 40 grain salads. These are 36 grain hollow points. And these are 40 grain solids. These ones aren't the best group. That group was pretty good, but I'm thinking those 36 grains are probably going to be my best bet. We're going to run, uh, I'm going to see if I can get a few more of them 36 grains on the uh, center target on this one here. We'll see if I can get a good group. I'll throw five in there and see what kind of group I can run. Those 36 grains, those are your cheap bulk Winchester ammo that Walmart sells. Probably one of the cheaper bullets you're going to buy, but uh, it shoots pretty good actually out of this pistol. One of these bullets jammed, no big deal, cleared it. We're going to give it a couple more shots. Oh, that was the last one. Well, that would have been definitely a dead squirrel. I think these are ones I'm going to use this year. So, go with the cheap Winchester 30 grains, 36 grain. Out of this pistol, those are going to be about my best group. Throw my scope knobs on. So there we go, I'm all ready for squirrel season with the pistol. My air rifle's all sighted in. Squirrel season starts in a week, so we're gonna be out doing some hunting, making some videos for you. Uh, if you guys got any video ideas, just post them in the comments and I'll see what I can do. Thanks for watching.